Hi everybody, I'm going to be showing you how to make a black garlic truffle Caesar today. Uh, it's one of my favorite drinks, so yeah, we're going to do it. So we're going to start by rimming the glass. So you take a lime, I've just put a little slit with a knife in there so that it'll go over the rim nicely. And you just go around and then into the rim. So I have a mixture of sea salt and truffle salt in here to go along with the uh, truffle theme that we're doing. So that's the rimmed glass. This is the truffle salt that I've used. You can find truffle salt all over the place though. Um, and then what I've done, well first I'll put the ice in. And then what I've done with the black garlic um, and truffle oil is I've mixed it in my mortar and pestle with a little bit of uh, the truffle salt as an abrasive to break down the garlic a little bit and then it's gonna be kind of this chunky paste like thing and so you just want a spoon or so of it and it packs a ton of flavor and just totally changes uh, makes the Caesar even better than it already is. Then you're gonna go in with your Caesar classics, some uh, Worcestershire sauce. The nice thing about Caesars is you can really customize them, add as much or little seasoning as you like. Um, and then next we go in with some Tabasco sauce. Again, you can use any hot sauce you like. I actually prefer Frank's Red Hot, but they did not have any at the store, so Tabasco sauce it will be. I don't put that much in because I don't like it too spicy. And then squeeze in some lime juice. And again, as much or as little as you want. Then you're going to go in with, I'm using vodka, you could use gin, you could use tequila, anything you want. Um, and then next, I always put a little bit of pickle juice. This is about maybe half an ounce. It just like, again, makes the Caesar even better. And then you're gonna go in with your Clamato juice and it's already open. And then you just fill her up. And then you can take that spoon and just mix it up a little bit. And then as far as garnish goes, you can really do anything you want. I have a little skewer with a pickle and some olives or like some cured meat with a garlic stuffed olive, uh, pickled asparagus. These are my mom's pickled Caesar beans. They're so good. So I think I'm just gonna do one of those and one asparagus and cheers. 